Welcome back to another Rat Face 44 Reviews. My name is James, and today we have G.I. Joe Classified Series, Retro Carded Duke, and bonus comparison, Rakondo. So let's get this started. Before we get this started, big shout out to DJC Collectibles. Link in the description. So before we open up the figure, we're going to take a look at the packaging and the art. As you can see, beautiful card, nice and thick, really decent freaking artwork. I know Duke is a little bit misproportioned. I don't know. He seems he has a big head. Um, it's very, I don't know, cartoony features. <laughs> you got an awesome bubble for the figure with all the accessories. Great logo. Missing real American hero. You got a file card here with multiple languages. You got the cross cell. You got boring stuff on the bottom here. You got the cool old school Hasbro logo on the corner. So I got my trusty scalpel here. Let's go ahead and get the figure out of the packaging. There you go, precision cut. There he is, Duke is free. So here's a quick shot of Duke. And you got a double tray. Here is some of his weapons. You got the classic grease gun, machine gun, submachine gun, very cool. And on the other part of the tray, you have his classic binoculars, just like the old school. And speaking of old school, I'm gonna have the vintage comparison later on in this video. Same with Rakondo. Got warnings, kind of chopped it up. There's a big mess here. <laughs> you got the okay, decent figure stand, which is not bad. We got his backpack. Uh, let's zoom in on the sh shovel here. Um, if you could read that, go ahead. I can't see it, unfortunately. Um, I can't remember what it said, but uh, I remember reading it. This is the same backpack as the original Duke. We have a cool helmet with a visor, which is awesome. Check that out. It is translucent visor. It has a little bit of a, uh, a smoky kind of plastic. It looks kind of warped. It is made of a softer plastic. I'm hoping that by putting it on his head, back to the normal shape. The next we have a kind of a very bendy sidearm. I believe we've seen this before in the line. Port for blast effects. And we have the classic rifle, laser rifle. Definitely there's a port for blast effects. Got a nice two-tone color, green and gray. And a very tiny knife here with a brown handle and a silver blade. We have two fists for Duke. So here is Duke all out of its packaging. Let's go ahead and take a look at the, the style and design of this action figure. Uh, very classic look. Um, he is uh, a little bit wiggly in the torso leg area. Um, I love the sculpt. Check out that head sculpt here. It looks really good. I like the hair. It has more than one tone to it. Awesome face sculpt. Um, he has these uh, pilot wings, just like the old school. Got a bandolier with a grenade on it. All done in green. He has a green type of uh, shirt underneath, like a double collar, just like the original. He got the American flag on the shoulder, just like the Mail Away Duke on the vintage version. Got half up, half rolled up sleeves. Got trigger fingers. He has a belt uh, kind of glued on. I think it's part of the plastic type of diaper here. Got some cool pockets sculpted in. Same with on the shirt. Uh, Duke does not have a watch, unfortunately. That would have been a little bit of a nice touch. Uh, nice military cargo pants. Done in green, nice textures. Double jointed knees, double, double jointed elbows. 
Got the drop down hips. I'm just gonna go through it all like that. Cool knee pads. You got a uh, holster, uh, thigh holster for his sidearm. You got a knife boot sheath for his, on his boot. He has brown boots. Just a classic Duke here. Gotta love it. I like the butterfly shoulder joints. They seem a little different than the previous versions. Uh, I'm wondering if he can actually hold his gun this way. It looks like he, he might have... It looks like... He might be able to. It looks uh, a little bit easier. Um, let's go ahead and try that out. Why not while we're at it? We've got a sidearm in his hand. Fits really well. And let's see if we can get him cross-armed with his gun. Definitely a lot easier than some of the Joes that I've tried to do this with. A lot of the times I would have to heat him up in order to get him as in a cross arm position. Not too bad. Not too bad. Might need a little bit of heat. So let's put the side arm in the holster. Fits really well. Next we have the boot sheath and let's go ahead and put the knife there. And we have the binoculars, just like the vintage. And this is kind of another one of those things that's kind of one-to-one. -one. He has a little bit of a, a loose neck that I've just noticed, unfortunately. You know, and it's not warm in my place, that's for sure. It is nice and cool in here. But the joints are a little bit loose. Knees are tight-ish. But so far, this figure looks freaking awesome. Next we have the backpack. There is a hole on the bandolier. So you can peg it in. I was able to put the backpack in this bandolier. It is very thin on the back here. So I'm hoping it won't ride up like Snake Eyes' bandolier. So the question is, would you would you guys put his classic grease gun in his hand, grease rifle, or would you use the cartoon accurate version in his hand? Let me know in the comment section down below. There you have it. He is all armed and geared up. Uh, I think I'm just gonna put his classic gun in his hand just like the old school Duke. So let's go ahead and open up Rokondo. So I just wanted to make a couple of remarks on Rokondo's artwork. I think this is the better uh, artwork of the three. Uh, pretty close with Scarlet Retro Card. So here is Rokondo, took them, took them off the card of course. And we have all the same accessories as the Tiger Force. I'm not gonna go ahead and like do a full uh, review uh, if you want to check out my Rakondo uh, review, it's all the same except different colors. And we'll do a comparison with both Rakondos at the end of this video. So here is Rakondo out of its packaging. Let's go ahead and gear them up. Classic Rakondo. I do have the vintage one in my collection. So we'll do a comparison at the, towards the end of this video, which is coming very soon. <laughs> as I'm gearing him up quite quickly. So he does have a sidearm that goes in the side like we, like just like in the Tiger Force version and his backpack fell off. It kind of, yeah, kind of, if it's in flush a little bit, but hopefully he doesn't fall out again. He does have a little, have a little bit of an ab, a loose ab syndrome going on there, unfortunately. But, you know, this is an older body. Uh, kind of wish Rokondo had the same body as Duke with the uh, diaphragm. That would have been really cool, but, you know, they already had the mold. So we have the machete for Rokondo here. 
So we can put it in the holster, uh, the side uh, thigh holster or sheath, I should say. That looks pretty cool. Check that out. And colors are very nice between Rakondo and Duke. They are very classic vintage looking. And again, yet again, this backpack does not want to stay. The peg is very short, unfortunately. So check it out, there you have them. Classic characters. So here is all three retro carded wave of G.I. Joe classified series. They look amazing together. And I wanted to add a comparison with the first Duke in the classified line. I have it all Valorversed out. And as you can see, I tried to make it look like the more traditional Duke, but this is still a good Duke. And uh, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the head sculpts. So here's a close up of the head sculpts. As you can see, they're very similar. Uh, definitely the hair color is different and it's uh, crazy how similar these head sculpts are. Um, let me know in the comment section down below. I think they're different, but they look super, super similar. So before I do the vintage comparison, let's get out Tiger Force Rakondo, the first Rakondo I got back in the day. Seems like a long time ago. It's about, what, two years, year? I can't even remember. But they're the exact same mold, just different colors. I do like the camouflage pants. Same backpack, same gun, same everything. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the head sculpts. They are exactly the same. So let's go ahead and grab our vintage Joes and do a quick comparison. And for the grand finale, here is the vintage Rakondo. Here is vintage Duke. I recently upgraded my Duke because I broke his crotch unfortunately so I was able to get a new waist for Duke and legs and here is the straight arm Scarlet there you have it guys I really love Scarlet it's my favorite she is my favorite Joe uh, in this line so far uh, an amazing figure um, check out my previous video of the Scarlet review I really love that video so speaking of Scarlet, here is the new Skybound image comic and the artwork on this is freaking banging. Check that out. So with Duke, as you can see, man, like I said, the colors are pretty spot on. There may be a little bit more paint on the classified for sure. The added visor is really a nice touch. I really like that. Maybe that's a foreshadowing for the next old school Joes like Zap and Grand Slam. You know, I really hope they come out with those guys soon on the retro card, of course. And we can have the lineup of all the 1982-83 Joe lineup would be dope. So I hope you enjoyed my review. If it's your first time here, please like, comment and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. We're heading towards a thousand subscribers. Thank you very much for watching Yojo and Cobra. Cobra.